Okay, New Year's resolutions. Let's see. Number three, be kinder to my cast and crew. Check. Number two, uh, don't eat fast food no matter how hungry you are, no matter what time of day it is. Check. And number one, oh, hi. I, I had no idea you were there listening. But I'm so glad you are because guess what? Tonight marks the eighth season of the Tampa Native Show. So get ready to call in because Hello Dory's waiting to take your calls. The Tampa Native Show, Salute and Happy Days, starts right now. Hi. Remember Tampa, the way she used to be, the places we would run to, the faces we would see. Yes, I remember Tampa, those precious memories, a city rising on the move, a simple yet progressive groove. I remember Tampa, and she remembers me. Remembers me. Welcome to the Tampa Native Show. Stay tuned now for the fastest 60 minutes in cable broadcast history. Live from the studios at TBCN, the home of the Tampa Native Show. Join your hosts, Mario Nunez, the 15 minute girl, and Steve Canella as they celebrate growing up in Tampa. From Shock Armstrong to Shakey's Pizza, from Braddock Street to Buffalo Avenue, get ready to call in and tell us your stories, because sharing your memories has never been this much fun. And now, Mario Nunez, the 15-minute girl, and Steve Canella. She remembers me. Welcome back, everybody, to this, the Tampa Native Show. Can you believe it? No. Nope. Here it is, another great season about to embark. We're eighth season. I just can't even talk tonight. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I'm excited for a lot of reasons, actually. It's a brand new year. Mm -hmm. We were all happy to see 2012 go. It wasn't a great year for most of us. But, hey, 2013 is here. So let me just reintroduce, for those of you joining us for the very first time, seated alongside to my left. Sally Nunez. The 15-minute girl. And over here to my right, our IT guy. Tampa Steve, a.k.a. Steve Canella. No, you're, you're Steve Canella, a.k.a. Tampa <laughs> wow. Steve. Well, there's an a.k.a. in there somewhere. Yeah, he's okay. infamous and notorious, both at the same time. Now, for those of you, again, just joining us for the first time, we have but one question to ask. Hey, where you been? Every Thursday night at 7 o'clock, you know, we come to you here, Channel 30, Verizon, <laughs> Channel 950, Bright House, and, of course, on the World Wide Web. Steve, tell them that email address. That email address is, well, the email address is show at tampanatives.com, but the website address yeah. is tampanativesshow.com. And we we made some some changes just recently on that web page. Mm -hmm. so Who did? We did. I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the I IT, like the way you said we. I mean, the IT department, which is me. Yeah, Thanks the for I, including us. Yeah. yeah, no, and Steve has done an amazing job with that. So we'll be talking a little bit more about that as the show progresses. Mm -hmm. But we, we don't want you to leave the TV just yet. Right. But after the show's over, certainly we want you to go to that website and look around. New pictures, new videos. Steve has also uh, opened up a brand new comment page for you to be able to write in and leave your comments. Highlights. We also want to talk, and the highlights, we, oh, cool. we, we vowed to make a uh, sort of a greatest hits, if you will, uh, <coughs> going forward. And we're going to go back into the archives also and pick from those old shows and to sort of compile a, a highlight uh, montage. So that way we can, we can package it and sell it back to you. Because let's face it, we need to raise some funds over here at the Tampa <laughs> Native Show. But it's going to be great, and Steve's working really, really hard on that. You know, he's got a full-time job. And he works uh, pretty much eight hours a day on the computer. Yeah. And then when he gets off of work, he goes I'm out and gets computer. himself a cup of coffee, comes back, and he's on the computer again. <laughs> For us, though. Yes. And, and we appreciate yes, it. And Steve, do. you do a heck of a job, well, partner. Well, thank you. Thank heck you. Heck of a job. You know you do. Hey, do you know what's good about the highlight uh, feature, though, is every show, something very special happens. It typically you know? does. I mean, the shows themselves are very special, yes. but there's yes. always something unique that happens during yeah. the show. Whether it's a call in from mm -hmm. a special caller yeah. or, uh, or just like tonight, let's just mention what's really special about our show tonight for the mm -hmm. first time in Tampa Native Show history. Now, Very I should say this, I should say this, we've been on the air since September 1st, 2010. So right. we're into our third year of broadcasting and uh, this is coming up on, again, our 100th show. And we don't know what we're going to do for that show. It's <laughs> going to be something special. But 
We're starting off this year, 2013, with something pretty special. And if we can get that shot now, if you'll bring that up, Eric, we'd like to introduce you to our live <laughs> studio audience. There welcome, they are. Welcome. The Mackler family from Dallas is here. <laughs> and we'd just like to say hi. And the gentleman in the back row in the middle there is a colleague of mine. We've been working together at American Airlines for the past 20 boom, 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 boom years. We won't talk about that. Uh, but Steve and his family, Steve, thank you so much for being here with us, and we appreciate it. Erica, his daughter, Erica, wait with the camera so everybody will know. Erica's just starting uh, her studies at the University of South Florida, and she's going to be studying mass communications and broadcast journalism. So we'd like to welcome, see, we, we do interactive and fun things here mm -hmm. at the Tampa yes, Native Show. And, and tonight is no exception. We've got a live studio audience. Something new. That is neat. Our comment line, if we could just let you remind you about that, our comment line, area code 813 nine two zero two five zero eight the reason i bring that up at the top of the show is because our show has become so popular go ahead stevie give it to me oh what are you looking for our, <laughs> i'll ask the 15 minute girl i know you were busy our show has become so popular how popular how is, there, popular there, there you go. is it there you go our show has become so popular that sometimes when we have one of those topics like we had last week christmas uh two weeks ago christmas mm -hmm. people are calling in and they want to share their memories yeah. well as it turns out uh, the lines get kind of clogged up mm -hmm. um Case in point, I'll, I'll play one of the highlight reels uh, from our comment line I recorded for you. And uh, if Debbie and Rose are out there watching, and we know they are, they're going to get a kick out of this. We just want to remind you, be patient. Mm -hmm. We've only got two lines here. If, perchance, you can't get in because you're getting a recording, that's what that comment line is for, 813-920-2508. Call us and let us know, number one, what you were trying to get in and tell us. Mm -hmm. We'll record it and play it back for you on the next show. Also. Um, to, you know, if you have a, uh, a comment, a uh, question, a cheer or a jeer, the cheers will get deleted by the jeers will get deleted by the <laughs> we don't we don't tolerate jeers here. But if you have something, we don't have any jeers. No, we haven't yet. No. But if you have something that you want to remind us of, or a guest that you have in mind, one of those Tampa treasures that we speak of so often on the show mm -hmm. that we need to reach out to to get him on the show. In a, in a couple of weeks, in three weeks' time, we're going to have a Tampa treasure on the show with they us. Are. Stevie, oh. you have personal experience with her. I sure do. As does Hello Dory, yeah. as do some of our viewers out there. You want to tell them who's going to be with us oh, in two weeks? absolutely. We're going to have Ann Cook. She was my English teacher at Hillsborough High School. And, and those of you, show mm -hmm. of hands out there, show of, show of mm -hmm. hands in TV land, who remembers Ann Cook, Miss Cook's claim to fame? We'll give you a minute. Go ahead. Okay. Shout it out. At the TV, shout it out now. I hear them. They're already shouting. <laughs> All right, Stevie, tell <laughs> okay. them who it is. Well, she, she's the Gerber baby. The Gerber and, baby. And for many yeah. years, I mean, in fact, the last 25 years, when I, whenever I would tell that story, nobody would believe me at all. They say, "Are you kidding? I don't believe that," you know. But it's it's true. The she's 86 baby. years yeah. young. She lives close by the studios here, mm -hmm. and she's probably watching tonight. So, Miss Cook, thank you so much for obliging us. Cook. We can't wait to have you on the show. That is the coolest thing. And you know, for those of us that grew up here in Tampa, mm -hmm. yeah. when Tampa was very small, very colloquial, we talk about it each week. Mm -hmm. We didn't have very many things to hang a star on. I mean, Tampa was kind of a sleepy little town, and we liked it that way. That's we not did a like it that we way. We liked it that way. We preferred it. We loved it that way. <laughs> we did. Because you could get from one end of the town to the other in five minutes. Exactly. And you knew everybody. Yeah. You knew the police department. You didn't have to worry about too much of that stuff. So anyway, one of the things that we could be real proud of was the fact that the Gerber baby mm -hmm. was not only one of our own, but she taught some of us in high school. Yeah. She was our English teacher. Yeah. So that's pretty neat. She's going to be with us in two weeks. We hope that you'll join us as That'll well. That'll be a fun show. And I better watch my English set. You night. better. Yes. And, and, yeah, your diction and, and all that and other whatever that's. Right? She's 86 <laughs> years young, and, and you know she's going to be full of great stories. Yeah. So we can't wait to have her on the show. Now, I'm going to uh, take a minute and play two, two uh, recordings from our comment line. These are good. Uh, this is very high-tech here, so bear with me. I'm going to take this <laughs> very high-tech recording device. Cassette. That and is. That's FBI stuff. And I'm going to put it right next to the microphone here so you can hear it nice and clear. And you get a kick out of this. There's two calls here back-to-back, -back, so bear with me. And we'll just play them uh, consecutive order. Hey, kids, it's Devin Rose. We can't get through. Your 977 keeps returning up. Doo-doo-doo. <laughs> And then it says, it's not necessary to dial a 1 or 0 before placing this call. Please hang up and try your call again. And we even called Bright House, the operator, to call in. And we were going to pay the cost, you know, for a, for a call. They got the same recording. So I don't know if it's our area, which is, you know, South Carrollwood or what. But we're not able to get through to you anymore. Do you guys have an alternate number or something? Okay, we sent you an email. Maybe you can call us so we can comment. We're at 935-805. Okay, doodles. Merry Christmas. Uh, this is Ann Cook calling. Uh, 
There she is. Steve uh, was happy enough to talk about me on the show a few minutes ago. I was his English teacher, and I always remember me because I, my image uh, has been used uh, for uh, 80 some years for the, as the uh, trademark of the Gerber baby. So my students generally remember me, I'm afraid, for that reason. But I wanted to call in and just say I, I was watching. I tried to call the other number and I kept getting a message that I didn't have to dial one. I never did dial one, so I don't know what that <laughs> was all about, but I was not able to reach you on the 977 number. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to leave a camp comment. Like that Steve contacted me uh, by email, let me know that the show was going to be on and that I would be mentioned. And I just appreciate it. I have very happy memories of my years at Hillsborough High School as an English teacher. Thank you. That's awesome. How about that? That's, That's awesome. very nice. How about that? Yeah. So Great thank message. you, Ms. Cook, again, for yeah. calling. Thank you, Rosa and Debbie, for trying to let us know that you couldn't get through. <laughs> And, uh, great and imitation, Deb. That was great. And, and if it happens tonight, <laughs> doo, 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 and you hear that again, well, just keep trying. Yeah. You know, or send us an email because as That's you can see, best way. our IT department is hard at work here. We've got the uh, laptop open and we're, we're receiving emails in real time. Have you received any, Steve? Well, we do have a couple. We have one early really? from uh, Ricky T. Parnell. Ricky T. Ricky Parnell, T. who used to be... He used to be the, the Brazilian or the our Deep, Deep South, South correspondent, correspondent. Right. For, from Brazil. For, for our studio people. audience that's just joining us tonight for the first time, Mr. Steve Mackler would appreciate this. Mm -hmm. We have had uh, we have fans all over the world. Mm -hmm. and, and one of our fans is Mr. Ricky T. Parnell, who used to be our Deep South correspondent. He lived in Curitiba, Brazil for a period of time. He's back. And while he was down there, he watched our show religiously each and every week in spite of the time zone change, time change differences. Yeah. But now Ricky's back in town, and we're happy to have him back in town amongst Tampa natives and amongst family. So what did Ricky have to say? Well, you know, he writes, this is a New Year's show, mm -hmm. New Year's Eve. So he writes, we used to go to Bayshore to see fireworks in the 1960s. My most memorable moment was a good laugh. I think it was somewhere around 1986 or so when Harbor Island was shooting fireworks. I was near the bridge and the barge wasn't too far away. Anyway, smoke became a tad intense and about five minutes later, I looked around and saw pieces of paper and ashes falling. <laughs> the next thing I know is someone patting my head. And uh, a piece of explosive paper had landed <laughs> oh, on my head. No. Now, here's the funny part, although that, that was a funny part. That's pretty good right there. Uh, I don't know what I did. I'll give him a ring right there on that one. Here's the funny part. I took the paper off my head, looked at it, and read Danger. True story. <laughs> That's great. Perfect. Attaboy, Ricky T. Attaboy. That's Fantastic. a good story. Well, and, uh, and speaking of attaboys, <laughs> I think an attaboy is probably appropriate at this time for my good friend, my uh, co-host, uh, and my uh, BFF, Steve Canella, <laughs> because as it turns out, we... Dare I say, we uh, crossed new frontiers uh, in the last couple of weeks since we were with you on the last show. Steve, uh, we shall did. I, or do you care to elaborate? Well, we, there are so many frontiers. Let's, let's <laughs> <laughs> and we say, want to be it. careful which <laughs> frontiers we talk about. No, exactly. Because we, this is a G-rated show, by the way, and moms and dads and our willows are listening out there. Well, no, I can tell you well, what it is. I have one serious. frontier. I can, I can talk, <laughs> and a back tier, too. Anyway, and I can tell you unequivocally what that is. For those of you that were, as I was two weeks ago, apoplectic uh, at the thought that Steve, who is 50 blah, 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 boom years old, <laughs> just turned December 15th, had never seen a Christmas oh, yeah. story. Oh, that frontier. Yeah. Well, we can say Steve has, has seen now it. seen yes. a Christmas story. So if you see Steve... He's one of us now. <laughs> if you see him at Castillos and Sons, you see him at uh, Ca Cafe Caribe, you yes. can come up to him Ask and, you, him can, about and you can tell him fragile, and he'll know what it means. <laughs> you can tell him you'll shoot your you'll eye shoot your out, eye kid. kid. <laughs> he'll know what that means because he's finally you know? seen that wonderful Christmas classic. And it was classic. funny, wasn't you it? You know, it was hilarious. Yeah. Wasn't it good? I was yeah. at my, my sister's house. We watched it. We were all... In fact, you know, she hadn't seen it either, but we were all dying laughing. It was hilarious. Yeah. It, was, and, it was great. And, and and as Davey and Benito uh, pointed out so, uh, so eloquently two weeks ago, <laughs> when he called it and he said, Steve, it's on every two hours. They play, it, <laughs> they play it 12 times on Christmas Day. How did you not see it? T <laughs> TBS <laughs> plays it round the clock. Yeah. Oh, it's great. But I'm so glad that you got a chance to see it. Oh, you know, yeah. but now, now I'm mad at myself for not watching it sooner. Oh, look at how much you've yeah, missed. Yeah, now you exactly. can watch it every Look at how much you've missed. Yeah. Well, you've got some catching up yeah. to do. There you do. And uh, so we're happy yeah. about that. We're yeah. happy. Let me give a couple of quick announcements real quick before we get to our phones. And, and callers, you can start ramping up and getting ready now. It's almost a quarter past the hour. So fingers at the ready. And that number is 813-977-6800. That's 813-977-6800. <laughs> Operators are standing by. That's me and the 15-minute girl because yes. we're going to answer. Dory's going to 
answer your call and then shuttle it in here to the studio. A couple of quick announcements. Happy birthday announcements to three Tampa natives. Actually, two Tampa natives and an honorary Tampa native. Ed Taranchik today celebrates a birthday. Oh. Mercida Risky Ramos celebrates a birthday as well. And a gentleman that we met May 12th last year when they were celebrating, commemorating the 100th anniversary of Union Station, the train yeah. station down here, Mr. Jackson That's McQuaid. Right. Happy birthday, right. all of you. Jackson Atlanta. lives in Atlanta currently. Atlanta. His father still lives here in Tampa, and Jackson travels back and forth to Tampa quite often. And he's promised us that one of these times when he comes in, we're going to have him on the show, yeah. and we're going to talk all about the tradition that is uh, the train station here in Tampa that's celebrated mm -hmm. again on May 12th, uh, 100 years of service to Tampa. And, uh, and tell us, enlighten us all about those mm -hmm. wonderful early years of, uh, of riding the rails. So happy birthday to those. Happy uh, birthday. Happy birthday, all. And uh, congratulations. I just got to say this on another <clears> note. <throat> congratulations to Corey Martinez, son of Ronnie Martinez, who apparently is garnering a great amount of interest from major universities for his skills and, and athletic ability on the football field. Oh, great. Big number 77. He just uh, came out today, TBO.com, that he uh, received another offer from Rutgers University. So the offers are coming Very in. Corey, nice. congratulations. We're congratulations. proud of you. Proud of you. Also, also heard just before the show today that Andy Johnson, who has been a meteorologist with uh, mm -hmm. Channel 13, back all the way back to the Big 13 days, back to the 70s, Way back. worked with Roy Leap and worked yeah. uh, with Paul Delegato, uh, has just announced today that he's retiring finally. Oh. Uh, after Congratulations. Probably 30, 35 yeah, years I was saying. I was of saying. service. So and Mike Clark would know him. Maybe, of yes. course, Mike yeah. Clark would know Maybe we could reach out to Andy and see if That'd we can get fun. him to come in and do yeah. the show with us. We still have to get Roy Leap in as well. We yeah. sure do. But uh, Andy would certainly be great to have him on the show as, with us as well. Yeah, cool. Any other special announcements, guys? Should we do our... Uh, our, our very own New Year's resolutions at this time. Is this, is this a good time to do that? I think it's a perfect time. Okay. Let's who, go. Was, who drew the short straw? Who's going first? Ladies first? I think ladies I first. I will have no problem going first, <laughs> Oh, well, actually. okay. Here Sound we like go. she has yes. a good one here. All right. I have a good one. <laughs> Let's see what happens. My New Year's resolution mm -hmm. is a very large one, and it involves helping my husband uh -oh. resist the urge uh -oh. to tell me how to do everything in my life ouch <laughs> ouch and i am not kidding that's a stinger now that's whose resolution is that is yeah that, is that, that hers or mine i don't know <laughs> whose that is that's a i'm helping you i do hear that quite often yes I, I, I do hear that. Yes. Resist, resist the resist urge. urge resist the that's urge that's a phrase that haunts me even in my sleep yes. as we're doing sweet pillow talk good night good night i love you i love you. resist the urge yeah yeah i don't know what that means but okay good stevie you're next i'm next okay well, mine is more like a revolution, not a resolution. Okay. But, I, like, um, I like the sound of that. Well, anyway, you heard of compounding interest, right? Yes. So I'm going to kind of use that same concept, and okay. the compounding concept, and basically making small adjustments, small changes uh, consistently on a daily basis okay. yields large results, is my, is my thinking. Very good. Like if you make small changes to diet, maybe read more books, it um, uh, could be exercise, for example. Yeah. A good example would be, like, you don't have to go to the gym and, and kill yourself for three hours working out really hard Correct. every other day. But just work out maybe 15, 20 minutes a day, and after a year's time, it's like it's a cumulative effect. Gotcha. Where you, people will say, "Hey, where do you where do you work out at? You know, what, what gym do you go to?" I like that. So it's like a, it's more of like a compounding yeah. interest, consistent. kind of consistent, but little just little changes, little nothing major, but That's the good. little the little things turn into big compounding things later interest. on. Compounding interest. I like the little That's things turn idea. into big things. Yeah. Write that yeah. down, son, because that, that may be our motto for twenty thirteen. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you know, so it's like if some wise old man offered to you, would, would mm -hmm. you take? If I offered you right now. $100,000 or a penny a day doubled for 30 days, which would you take? The penny a day. Because yeah. you know as right. well as I do right. that once you hit critical mass, much like our little mm -hmm. TV show here has hit critical mass exactly. now. Yes, we have. Uh, you know, that, that penny doubled over 30 days is up over a million dollars. I know you mm -hmm. don't believe me, but if you take out your calculator and you it's do it. the same concept. It, about day mm -hmm. 18, 19, 20, things start to happen right. special. And by the time you hit day 27... It's up over a million dollars by 30 days. So now, now compounding can go both ways. It can be negative or positive. Yes. If you, if you do bad habits, little, little, little each day. Yes. We're not going to do that. No, no. We're not so. going both ways here on the right. show. <laughs> All right, Steve. Back to me. Back to me. All right. All right. Remember, it's G-rated. We, we have a call. All right. Well, well I got to do my new resolution. <laughs> I got a call. Why are you turning red, Steve? I can see you red from here. Oh, no. All right. Let's go. Here's my New Year's resolution. Okay. My New Year's resolution is this. It's, and it's kind of like what Steve's is. It's just to be more consistent on a daily basis with the things that we need to do to make this show all it can be. Now, that said, as the executive producer, and that's a title that's fancy and I love it. I yes, he does. You. I sign all my emails, executive producer of the Tampa Native Show. It's also an awesome responsibility. And, and I don't, and it's not one that I take lightly. 
And those that have worked with me uh, over the last 20 something years on the airplane know that, yeah, I like to have a lot of fun, but when it gets serious, I do my work and I do it, in a, in, I think, in a pretty high, high fashion, high caliber way. So that's, that's the approach I'm going to take to this show as well. And, and going forward, as I transition away from my airline career and, uh, and concentrate solely on making this show uh, the viable venture that I think it's worthy of, then that's my promise to you, our fans. That's my promise to our studio audience joining us tonight. That's my promise to my colleagues and my co-hosts here on the set, is to work really, really, really hard to make this show all it can be. So. I that, think you've been doing that. Well, thank you, darling. I, I appreciate really, it. That's a, that's a great yeah. resolution. He's I, very dedicated. I appreciate mm -hmm. That and, and eat less fast food. But we, we talked about that at the <laughs> yes. top of the show. So thank you. And, and why don't we get to our callers? You know, let's do it. They're I'll waiting. Let's do it. Is it uh, line four or five? Line four, Dory's four. telling me. Yeah. Stevie? Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. It's Tom from New York. Tom. Hey, Tom, Tom from New Happy York. Happy New Year. How are you, Tom? He sounds different. I'm doing all right. Oh, you don't sound good. Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. No. That, that's not the Tom that we know. Should that we start to call like over sick again? Tom. Yeah, about a little under the weather. Me oh. and, uh, me and the wife, are, uh, uh, we got a, got a bug from You're home. sharing oh, no. it. Tell. We got tell. the crud. It sounds oh, yeah, like it. I'm doing, so I'm doing my Barry White voice. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, does sound sexy. like that. Wow. Yeah, I like that. It's even worse in the morning, I bet, huh? When you first get up? Yeah, yes, it is. It's oh. Like we well, what person. did you do for New Year's, and did you, did you celebrate any New Year's traditions this year that you grew up with celebrating? Tommy, did we lose you? No, I'm right here. Okay. Oh, he's thinking. All right. You're thinking it through? Uh, no, I, I just sat at home, and like I did. Quite a few years. I, that's all I've done. Uh, I did all. I, I did all my out and around and sowing my oats when I was younger. So. Nice, nice. We stay home body, too. So I hung out and I think I chatted with you guys on Facebook. You did. You did. <laughs> yes, we did. So I lonely watched, people uh, we are. Just staying at home on New Year's. We're not lonely. Same here. Watched the ball drop, uh, you know, for New York, and then I uh, I stayed up uh, for. Uh, uh, for Colorado, my brother lives in Colorado, so I stayed up. Couple hour time difference, yeah. Rang in the New Year with him and give him a call at midnight. So, good. well, excellent. Good for you. Well, that excellent. sounds like good. Well, get better soon, Tommy, because we like the yeah, old Tommy you better. Sound really I don't bad. mind telling you. <laughs> this Tom's okay. We love him too. <laughs> but we like that old guy, man. He laughs. I like the old Tom better too. How long have you been sick, Tom? Uh, well, I, I started feeling it on Saturday. My wife actually looked it up, and it's a bug that's been going around that lasts about seven days. Oh, wow. 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 And what day are you in now? Uh, since Saturday, I, I don't know, I can't even count. Yeah, that's day four or five. <laughs> we'll move day that date up a little bit, okay? All I know is there's a counter full of Robitussin, <laughs> Ibuprofen, oh, wow. NyQuil. Okay, okay. Oh, there. Well, before we let you go, be sure you give us your Bolita number, which we know we should know. be 42, 42. Unless, unless your medication gonna... is working overtime and, and you change your mind. <laughs> that's, that's 42. Okay, okay. Tom. So I couldn't miss a call in. 40, Thank no, no, you. and we appreciate He's you dedicated. making the effort. And as soon as, we, better. as soon as we hang up, Tommy, I'm going to disinfect the phone, not to worry. It's going to be fine. <laughs> All right, we love you, buddy. Take, Take care. care, Tom. All right, brother. Bye. Tom from New York. Thank you. That's Poor Tom guy. from New York who always calls that's the dedication. show even when even he's even when not he's sick. at his best. <laughs> and that's great, not his best, I can fan. tell you right yeah. now. You know, Tom, you know yeah. speaking of New Year's, um, New Year's Day, I was driving around in, in the Carrollwood area, North Del Mabry, uh -huh. and what I noticed was there was it was so nice. There was no traffic out at all. Yes. I, I'd approach a, a red light, and I'd be like the first or second car in line, and I thought, this is the way it used to be oh, back in the yeah, 70s. Absolutely. Oh, man. It yeah. was just great. No, you know, no yeah. traffic at all. It was when, you, when you could get yeah. literally from yes. one side of town yes. to the other, and if yeah. you hit all the traffic lights mm -hmm. right on Dale Mabry, you could get from... Kennedy and Dale Mabry to Carrollwood in exactly. seven yep. minutes. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, it was, and you didn't have to speed. You could just mm -hmm. get there. and That's what we talk about here on the show. These longings, these memories, these the yearnings that we have for, yeah. for you know, simpler times, mm -hmm. I guess you'd yeah. say, or, you know, much more streamlined. Yeah. yeah. Simpler, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we, more, should, maybe more relaxed. we should poll the audience and see what <laughs> they think about that. All right, we got callers believe these lights. We love it when wow, our lines are lit up. Let's go to caller on line five. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. I'm Bruce from South Tampa. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Bruce, Bruce from South Tampa. Hey, How Happy are New you? Year. Happy New Year. That's right. Pretty good. I had that seven-day illness that lasted 14 days. Oh, oh no. no. Have mercy. I need some more disinfectant for this it. phone. <laughs> That's what I need. <laughs> All right. Well, Bruce, are you feeling better? Yeah, I've just got that lingering cough now. but um, So it's respiratory. Is that what you're yeah. saying? It kind of starts. It's, it's here and then here? Yep. It's a virus. Yuck. They knock on wood. 
But I had a funny yet. little story happen to me the other day All right. about the Gerber baby. Oh, oh here we go, Miss Cook. Wonderful. She was my uh, English teacher at seventh grade at Madison. Okay. Wow. okay. Really? So she was at Madison before she went to Hillsboro. I believe so. If she was there I with you, then the 15-minute girl was at Madison as well? I yeah. mean, excuse me, um, I forgot how old I was. Earlier. I don't mm -hmm. remember her. I don't think I had her. Because the 15 minute girl, you know, graduated from Robinson as well, but she doesn't quite remember. Well, you know what? You could have gone to that school and not had her as your teacher, but yeah. hard to yeah. imagine you not remembering that I you're. I don't remember that. The, the, Gerber, Gerber, baby. the yeah. Gerber baby was one of your <laughs> teachers at school. You're going to remember that. And the other day, I was over at a friend's house. Um, they live in a high rise on Bayshore. Yeah. And I was telling her about my English teacher that was the Gerber baby. When you tell people that, that they find that kind of hard to believe. Same and. Way. Um, and I told her her name, and she said, Ann Cook, she used to live next door to me here. Oh, oh wow. wow. You see how same small building Tampa's a couple yeah, years place. ago. Yeah. And I'm telling her this far fetched story, and she lived next door to her and didn't even know she was a Gerber baby. Wow, oh, that's, that's amazing. so good. That's, that's and we'll get, all those, we'll get all those stories when yeah. Ann joins us in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's going to be exciting. Now, yeah. the tough part for me is going to be, do I refer to her as Ms. Cook or, or Ann or... Or just G baby or Gerber baby? How do how does that? You're gonna have to help me figure that out, Bruce. I don't know what to call her. G baby. G baby sounds good, right? Right? She's 86, she's man. 86. I bet she'll go for it. I bet she'll go for it. She's listening right now. She's yelling at the TV. Yeah, I can just hear. Her. All right, Bruce, give us your Bolita drawing number. 55. 55. 55. Nichols. That's what I'm gonna be next year, man. Can't believe that. I'm wow. already getting stuff from the AARP. What's going on? <laughs> they want you. Some more members. You, you throw it away. All right. right. All right. All right, Bruce, thanks for calling. We'll Take like, care, Call Bruce. us next week. We'll be here. Okay, guys. Thank Bye. you. Guys. Happy New Year. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, we got a video, too. We got a video. We got we several do. videos. Caller, we see you on the line there. Please stand by. We're going to show a quick video. We're going to come right back Why? to you. Why don't you set up that video for uh, Is it New Year's? New Year's. Yeah. All right, let's do this real Rocking. quick. It's about a minute and a half? About a minute and 45 seconds. minute and 45 yep. seconds. Uh, as you know, our, our little group has been together for better than three years now, the Tampa Natives group. The Tampa Natives show been in production for a little over two. Yep. Uh, but our first big, big, big event hmm. was a grand... Big one. Yeah, it was, a, it was huge. And we got a little story to talk <laughs> about do, that, we okay? We do, Very funny. It we'll was share, a we'll share, Yeah, we'll share that with you in a minute because yeah. this is hilarious. <laughs> it is. Uh, it wasn't at the time, though. But uh, <laughs> it, it turned out to be wonderful. We, we went to the Marriott and we asked them if... if we gave them just enough money. Would they allow us to, to have their uh, 5,000 square foot ballroom to have a major event for New Year's Eve? And they said yes. And so we invited 125 of our closest friends. We were in black tie, Steve and I, and 15 minute girl in a beautiful dress. And it, it came off really, really well. So Dan Perez, our resident archivist and our historian here at the Tampa Native Show, had his little handy dandy little video camera. And he captured the ball dropping and the countdown and we want to show it to you now. And it's loud. And it's loud. So that's okay. Here it comes.
All right. That was that was <laughs> nobody knew new, the words. That like was new. No, nobody ever knows the words. <laughs> <laughs> and all the and all that's all you know. Yeah. That was that was, that was New Year's Eve, two thousand nine to two thousand ten. So just mm -hmm. to show you how fast time we just celebrated tw twelve to thirteen. So that's Scary. how fast time is going. Yeah. Two things I noticed about that video real quick. I had more hair, <laughs> and I was a little heavier. You but were. Uh, yeah, I was heavier. I don't know so what happened. So was I. Now, but you know, I like this new me better. <laughs> All right. So real quick, the story, and then we're going to go to our phone uh, phone calls. Mm. Uh, the story is like this: <laughs> Steve and I, uh, maybe because we had six thousand members in the Tampa Natives group Facebook group at the time, uh, got a little over ambitious uh, with our planning for this and bit <laughs> a off a little more than we could chew or sw and or swallow, <laughs> and we almost choked on it, as it were. Uh, but we ended up uh, making good on most of the bill. And, uh, and, and we came up a little short, <laughs> came a little short, and, uh, and, and the uh, hotel was able to kind of write off about, what is it, about $1,500 worth of the nice. bill. Yeah, and it was a $10,000 bill. But that aside, the food was amazing. It was. We had food, we had champagne toast at midnight. Good music. Um, great music. The DJ mm -hmm. was jamming. Uh, people looked good. You yeah. saw mm -hmm. us. The tables were dressed. I mean, it was five. It was a huge. It you was saw fun. how big that ballroom was. Yeah. So here's my point. We <laughs> want to do it again. And we want to do it again this coming year. Mm -hmm. So our plans, again, might be a little ambitious, but this time we think we, we know how to do this better. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk to the owners of the Floridan, if you're out there watching, and if you know anybody that works at the Floridan, we'd really love to have our event at that beautiful grand hotel that's just been restored to the tune of, I don't know, $10 million worth of restoration. Yeah. More than and they're 10,000 square foot ballroom. And I think this time we'll probably wow. get more mm -hmm. than 125 people. So We learned a lot. Yeah, we did. We and did. it was amazing. To watch Steve, to drive in the car with Steve the day we were having to go down there <laughs> oh. and pay that bill. <laughs> Steve was about to jump out of the car. <laughs> and he was driving. Yeah. And he was driving. So it I told Steve, scary, Stevie, though. stay in the car, baby, because well, I, yeah. I can't drive it from the passenger side. Well, what it was, the, my name was on the contract. Yes, yes it was. And we were being called yes. up on the carpet. Yes, yes, yeah, we were. A week, a week yes. before the event. And I had no trepidation whatsoever because it was Stevie's name that <laughs> yes. was on that contract. Anyway, okay. It was that, fun there. that said, callers, call us. We're here for you, and we're going to get right to the phones. Line four, Stevie. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. This is Amos McCoy. Happy Hey, hey Miss McCoy, hey, McCoy calling us all the way from South Tampa. <laughs> well, My man. favorite. How, how are you? Now, for those of you that That's didn't good. hear that, we're going to ask. Amos McCoy to repeat that for us. Amos, what'd you say? I said, uh, got a, new, a girl during New Year's resolution. And that's to watch even more girl during Tampa There you go. <laughs> that's great. Very nice. That's Thank great. you so much, Hugh. How was your New Year's, Hugh? Yeah, it was good. It was quiet on New Year's, but we went to see uh, the Parental Guidance with Billy Crystal. and. Oh, uh, I want to see that. And the fabulous Bette Midler. Yeah. It was great. It there was, you go. Yeah. Well, good, good. We're glad that you're back in in the fold, as they yes. say, man. We've been missing on your phone calls. Yeah, I've been doing some stuff and went on a cruise. We I saw your pictures. Earlier. You went on a That's cruise? Right. Excuse me? Did you see the pictures? Yeah, we went to, down to the Virgin Islands. Oh, what nice. are you talking They're about? They're great. Yeah. All right. That's, yeah. You've got three bell rings tonight. <laughs> That's enough for you. <laughs> good for you. We want to take a cruise, too. I can't get the 15-minute girl on a boat. And I know somebody who knows a thing or two about the cruise business. Oh, is that right? right over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I can't get on the boat. I can't get her on the boat. We'll She's, see. Yeah. It, maybe if it's the right girl. Maybe for my retirement, huh? Maybe, maybe for my yeah, retirement, I can get good. three days. Let's just bop down to the Caribbean and come back. <laughs> okay. That'd be fun. Right, that's right. All right. I had one idea. I don't know if anybody's uh, discussed it before for, for like a show, you know, or a concept. Mm -hmm. And that'd be uh, exploring the, uh, the Tampa, uh, uh, Tampa Museum, the uh, University of Tampa, the Plant, Plant Museum. In oh, okay. yes. Very good. Yeah. Because it's, it's a very historic, uh, we've it been is. there a couple of times, you know, and of yeah. course the Christmas uh, uh, parade is really nice too, but it's just awesome. I mean, you can envision Teddy Roosevelt sitting out on the front yes. porch and everything. On and that veranda, absolutely. Oh. It's a beautiful school. Tremendous history. I mean, yeah. you know, the, the people that are coming here just in the last <laughs> maybe 20 years that maybe aren't plugged into all of that, man, they, if, if they've not taken the time to find out about our history, they, they're missing a whole great deal because, you know, Besides the cigar industry, there's been so much that has happened here in Tampa. Yeah. And most of it charming and most mm -hmm. of it historic. And, you know, we, we didn't get a chance to talk about it a couple of weeks ago when we had Mark Biro on here. And chances are we'll have him back on here again. But uh, there was a nasty rumor flying around that JFK's demise, which he met ultimately in Dallas and Dealey Plaza, yeah. was scheduled to happen here in Tampa. Now, can you imagine? I'm glad it yeah. didn't. And I'm oh. sorry that it did happen in Dallas because yeah. it changed the course of American history. But 
That said, can you imagine if it would have happened mm. here, brother? Oh, that would have been horrible. Horrible. How could you go to Ybor City wow. again? How could you it go? It was you horrible know? wherever it was, yeah. but mm -hmm. it wouldn't have been yeah, good. It would have just us. been a permanent yeah. scar. Again. Permanent stain on our wonderful, beautiful city. It would have been, no doubt about it. But hey, Hugh, mm. give us your Bolita number, man. We got callers calling in. I'll take 23. 23, 23. indeed. Glad that you're back. Uh, uh, hard nice by your phones on Thursday you, nights. Hugh. Great to hear from you, Hugh. I'll bring out the history and flavor of Tampa like nobody else. Thank well, you. Well, man, you know, you're one of our biggest fans, and, and I'm not going to argue with you. We appreciate <laughs> you. So if you're looking for an argument from me, you better go somewhere else. Why would you? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. We appreciate it. Have a good one. I hear you as well. Care. Happy New Year. Hey, we, we got a great fans, don't we? Oh, they're fantastic. In fact, speaking of fans, I got a really cool email here. Oh, wow, look at that. You know who that is? I wish you guys could see that. Well, you know, maybe, maybe, you maybe they around. can. Let's turn this around. I think it'll turn this That's way. That's us. Oh, there we go. how cute. There we go. To there your left. Go. There you go. How this cute. is uh, Mike and Carissa Sabino. That's the Sabino sent, family. Sent a picture of Kylie, their daughter, That's watching like, to the left. There you go. Watching the Tampa Nader show. Oh. And Kylie why? has great that? hair. I love Kylie. Yes, she does. Adorable, adorable. <laughs> yes, she What does. a great email, though. The Thank Savinos. you so much. How about that? Thanks, guys. You're great That's fans. Great. That That's is really so cool. cool. We love that. Oh, All right, let's wow. go to Jim on line five. How do I know it's Jim? Because they just told me the earpiece, but I'm going to ask him <laughs> anyway. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hey, I'm Jim Jetmore. Jim, and spell your last name for me. J E T. M O R E. Jim Jetmore. And, Jetmore. and a little birdie in my ear told me that this is your first time calling. Yes, it is. As it is Welcome for all in. first time all right. callers, you get a bell ring. How you doing, Jim? I'm doing fine. Happy New Year to you, partner. Did you grow up here in Tampa or did you just love our city so much you had to move here right away? Born and raised. Oh, hey. that's nice. wonderful. Where'd you go to high school? Hillsboro High School. Can okay. we ask what year you might have graduated? 1975. All right. Well, then that's just a year ahead of me. That's wonderful. You were a year between. You were between me and Ricky T. Parnell. I was a Jefferson grad, 76. Stevie, right here, seven class of 78, Hillsborough High. You must remember Miss Cook as well. Had her for advanced composition, and I have a uh, great story I want to share with her in person. Great. Oh, that's nice. great. That'd be great. I spent two thirds of my life in Tampa. Wonderful. My last third in Orlando. We won't ask you why you moved there. It's not important to us. We're just glad that you're calling our show tonight. Hey, now let me ask you something. Uh, how did you find us? Because whenever we get a first-time caller, it's yeah. always important for us to know. Uh, how, how did you find us? I've been watching you for a, a good long time. Oh, really? I'll give a shout-out to two people. Ricky T., you know. There you yeah, go. Yeah, definitely. Facebook friend with Ricky T. Parnell and Susie McIntosh Allen. Okay. Oh, she, she, she knows who she is. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We've seen that name as well. Mm -hmm, yes. That's wonderful. We're so happy. So listen, this is what we know, Jim. Uh, and we discuss this in pre-production all the time. We got to be on our best each and every week. We can't have an off week here because you know what? We know people are out there watching. And sometimes when we go to the store, it never ceases to amaze us. People walk up to us and go, hey, I know you. Yes. And we don't know them, <laughs> but they've been watching our show. <laughs> so it's kind of exciting. It's kind of fun. And we're really pleased that you took the time tonight to call in, yeah. and we want to thank you for that. Welcome. Oh, you're most certainly welcome. What I want to throw in, uh, Ann Cuck, the Gerber baby. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't been there lately, but she's uh, originally from Orlando. I guess she's hit around here now. Yes. Yes. In the Orlando History Museum, she's got a little panel about the Gerber baby. Oh. Oh. Interesting. I, I um, enlight, uh, enlighten... Um, Annoy all my friends that are with me. Yes. I, said, I had a group with Dave in high school. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Well, we're going to ask her to bring in some of that memorabilia when she comes in for sure. Yeah. And that's going to be, be a I great think, show. One of our better shows I because, know. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure. We may have to ask for an extra half an hour because we're only going to get, I think, one, one swing with Mrs. Uh, Cook, Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. Cook. So we, we may make that a 90 minute show because mm -hmm. a lot of folks are going to want to call in and share their memories that's of right. having her in a class. Former and, students. And, uh, and of course, you know, some of her contemporaries might want to call and say, I taught with her. You know, so yeah. we're excited to have her on the show. Now, since you've been watching for a while, you know, that we do a little drawing here in about 20 minutes or so. Can we get your Bolita number? My number? Lucky number mm -hmm. between 1 and 75. We're going to be giving away tonight a fantastic... 17. 17. Did you say 17? 1-7. 1-7. Oh, that's boy. That's a very favorite oh, number. Oh, boy. Is Debbie going to be upset tonight? Because <laughs> that's... See, we, we have so many tried and true Tampa Native show fans that call us each and every week. We even know, we know the numbers. their They're numbers because <laughs> they never change yeah. numbers. I mean, they're superstitious <laughs> like that. And that's Debbie and Rose. Debbie's always 17 and Rose? 
27. Uh, 27. 27, that's right. And they don't walk under ladders either. No, they don't. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be giving away this shirt tonight. Look, it's a Tampa Native shirt. Every, this is, everybody should have one of these. There you go. And we're going to be giving away one of these recycled Tampa Native shopping bags. So the shirt goes in the bag, the bag goes to you, whoever's lucky enough That's to win it. it. And right now, the odds are pretty good because we only got about yep, four or five we only have a numbers. Few. But we've got some time left. So if you're out there and you want that shirt, give us a call. Thank you so much, Jim, for Thank calling. You. We appreciate you. You're welcome. We'll be Thank here you, each Jim. and every week, so don't be a stranger. Yeah, we look forward to hearing yeah. from you. Thank you, buddy. Hey, we've got another um, bleeding number. All right, let's have it. Big Mike Padrinan. Oh, Big Mike big from Mike. Orlando. Oh, yeah, this is great. He writes, hello, all. Just tuned in. Been a long time. Seems like last year. It was. Not, you know, not that long. You know. Wah, 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 should I ring it? Should I ring it? Yeah, that's a ringer. That's all a ringer. right. We'll give, it, we'll give it to him. All right, still doing the Borlando thing. Orlando. Missing home. Love you all. My Belita is 13. I've already taken. Give me 63. It's available. It's available. Okay, big, Yes, Big 13. Mike. Thanks, and talk to you soon. We miss Thank you, Big Mike. Mike. You know, we might do tonight, too, just mm -hmm. for fun. We might do this tonight, guys, and what? I may do this on the fly mm -hmm. because you know what? We can. You always do <laughs> the executive on the producer. Fly. So we might do this. We might take and poll our audience and get Bolita numbers from our audience. That, just to throw oh, more yeah, numbers in the pot so Let's that you that. know what? Everybody why leaves not? with something. Yeah, we'll and we do up. have some videos that we'd like to show. How many do we have left? We've got about four videos left, correct? What? Three. Three. Three right. videos. Uh, Stevie, do you want to call up one of them? Well, maybe the shorter of the ones that well, we have? Well, this one, how about the. Uh, the Neon Tampa. Oh, yeah, yeah. let's do we that We've got to do that one. That's yeah. a really that one. Set catchy that one up, song. Stevie. Set that one up. Well, okay, Nicole Abbott, she's on the Tampa Natives group on Facebook. Mm -hmm. She created a stunning time-lapse video called City Lights. Did you write that? Uh, did you write that? Uh, did I write what? <laughs> what you just read. <laughs> oh, no, wait. It time -lapse. sounded almost no, yeah. like one of those commercials. Like oh, did selling a car or something. <laughs> oh, no, no. She Finish. created I'm sorry. No, but, no, but it's true. It was beautiful. It's stunning. Oh, I digress. Stunning, stunning. But it features the illumination of the downtown Tampa bridges. And what you hear the music, is, it's awesome and really cool. But anyway, uh, Eric, let's go ahead and play that video now. It's beautiful. And you're going to love this. Yeah. I promise. This is really cool. It's awesome. That's a nice little transition that was awesome, with huh? the uh, oh New Year's, yeah, yeah with the, with the yeah. fireworks. Well, Lisa Abbott, what was the game? Uh, well, her name is uh, Nicole Abbott. Nicole Abbott created Nicole, that. Very, kudos very to nice Nicole job. Abbott for doing an Beautiful amazing job. And it. the music yeah. was called. Yeah, the music was. It was cool. uh, I know you like that wood. music. Oh, I bought, I, bought, I bought the song on iTunes. You what? I went to iTunes. I bought the song. I love it so much. How much did that cost you? Ninety-nine cents. <laughs> That's not in our budget. We don't have that in our budget. What are you doing? Well, I tried to get it for a uh, half price, but it didn't. <laughs> it didn't work, did it? But the, the group is called Stokeswood, and it's called Neon White. Is the name of the song. Cool. So you can you can always Google that iTunes. You know, and and we have so much water in the city, you know, with, with the Hillsborough River mm -hmm. and, the, and the bay, that, you know, of course you have a lot of bridges. Right. And somebody got the excellent idea light to go up. ahead and light them up. Great. And, and, you know, there's something very, uh, I want to say magical, mystical, yeah. uh, if I could use that phrasing, about neon lights. Mm -hmm. uh, 
that's really pretty and it draws your eyes in. Of or course, just not bright. Li we're beyond that technology yeah. now. You know, we're not using neon colored as much lights. as we used to, but colored light. Yeah. You know, a lot of right. downtown buildings are being lit and up. And that's yeah. going to be done on nine bridges of downtown Tampa. That's yeah. going to be beautiful. Yeah. It's going to be really, really nice. It's already really done nice. on five already. So. Really, really pretty. So, <clears throat> listen, we thank you for bringing that video to us, Steve. That's, that's and thank inspiring. You, thank you, Nicole. That's yep. awesome. Thanks, Nicole. It's, um, well, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse already? me. Do we have an announcement? Do we have an announcement? If you'll be quiet, I'll give you an announcement. Um, we have 15 minutes left of the show, so get your calls in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that 15-minute girl, she got us again. And now you know why they call her the 15-minute girl. Because she never lets us go past the 15-minute mark. She's letting you know that if you want to get that shirt and that bag in that drawing that's going to take place in, in about 10 minutes, yeah. two lines are available. Now, something special that we're going to do, mm -hmm. we're going to take a minute. <clears throat> we've got the microphone that we've passed over to our studio audience. We're going to ask Marissa... Who's there in the front there smiling all pretty for us? Something new. If she, yeah, this is something new that we do, and we Fun. do it on the fly here at the Tampa Native Show. Marissa, if you'll go ahead and maybe you could either pass the mic around, I'll let you decide, or you can introduce everybody in your group and your family. And uh, at the same time, guys, we do a little drawing here at the end of each show, and we affectionately refer to it as our bolita drawing. Now, bolita is the Spanish word for small ball. Bola is a ball, and bolita is a little ball. Uh, for those of you that may not know, back in the teens, 20s, and 30s, and even 40s, Tampa had, um, well, we, we want to call it an illegal and illicit uh, gambling operation mm -hmm. at the time. Uh, it was sort of our lottery, and, yeah. and somebody, a bolitero, would come to uh, your house and get your number for the day, and uh, write it down, and of course, you'd wager with him, whatever your wager was, and then they'd, each night, they'd have a drawing. And that's where this game got its name mm -hmm. from, Bolita. So we do it here on the show as an homage. And it's legal. As It's perfectly legal. <laughs> no gambling allowed. As an homage <laughs> to our history. And so we, we don't have 100 balls. The game was uh, with 100 balls, 1 through 100. We have 75 because that's all they have for bingo. And we're using bingo <laughs> balls. Bingo. So your lucky number, 1 to 75, when we draw the number, the closest to without going over, there's the strategy. So Marissa, take it away. Uh, my name is Marissa. This is my grandpa, Ike. This is my grandma, Florence. My mom, Ellen. My dad, Stephen. And my sister, Erica. My n favorite number is 16. 16, okay. Thank you. Ike? 44. 44, 44. for Ike. We'll Ike 44. Let's see. Okay. Florence? 60. 60? 60. 60 zero. Zero for Florence. Flip it over, baby. If I you, got you, it. Okay. Florence. Oh, Ellen's going low. She's going well, low. What'd she put? Four. Four, Four. for Four. Ellen. 10. Okay, Ten for Stephen. Number nine is taken, by the way. Marilyn Messina. Marilyn Messina got nine, and mm -hmm. Erica? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay, 27's already taken. So who is? Who took 27? Oh, no. No, it's not. Okay. No, baby, no. Okay, and who's... 17 was taken. Who's 27? That's Erica. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for participating. Who was, who was nine, Steve? Nobody was nine. Nine no. was Melissa... Uh, Melissa. Um, it's uh, Marilyn Messina. Yeah, Marilyn oh, Messina. Okay. In fact, she's watching tonight. I just got an email from Hi, her. Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. Hello, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. Look, you down. look what we have here, Marilyn. Yeah, what a coincidence. Look what we have here. <laughs> I don't know what that is. This is a bottle. It's, it's, it was filled with olive oil. Yes. Delicious mm, olive oil. We'll talk a little bit more we about that. We have a couple new sponsors, too, we'll talk about. Okay, yeah, are we sponsor. ready to oh, yeah. okay. do the belief? No, we're not ready to do the drawing. We've got some time left. Oh. We have a couple so of videos. We've got, and we've got a caller right here. Caller on line four. I'll do this one, Steve. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hey, this is uh, Fabio from Lutz. Hey, hey Fabio. Fabio, from Fabio. Fabio Fabio, how are you? Good, how you doing? Happy New Great. Year. Good to, have, good to yes. hear your voice again. Good to have you call. Yeah, I just wanted to wish Steve and the gang there a uh, happy New Year. Same to you, Fabio. Same to you. Right happy back New at Year. you. Yep, I uh, got home from work and I was watching the news and... Uh, my wife comes up to me. She goes, hey, today's that show. Your show comes on. <laughs> hey, show, today's that great. show. I like that. <laughs> we love like, that. What are you talking about? She goes, yeah, the Tampa Native show. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. awesome, Fabio. So it was uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> then, of course, you know, like most guys, 59 years old, when you're watching TV, you're looking through the back of your eyelids, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We know how that goes. And then she wakes me up. She goes, the show's on. The show's on. So, uh. I just want to call in and say uh, Happy New Year to you guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank, thank you so and much. Thank for your that. wife. Yes. Right. And thank your wife for She's giving you the elbow. You. Yeah. And reminding you. Now, listen, I suggest next Thursday, about 6 58, make yourself a strong cafe con leche. Yeah. So you can make it through the next <laughs> hour, man, because we give things away here on the yes. show. It's fabulous. And we got a special guest we coming and joining us. We need uh, Fabio's Belita number, too. Yes. yes. 
What's well, it's, uh, it's good watching you, your show, and uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm enjoying it. That's great. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Give us your believing yes. number. Lucky number between one and seventy-five, and hopefully it's not taken tonight. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two. I don't think twenty-two is taken. Oh. I think it's free. It's open. Open, Fabio. You got Lewis. it. Thank you, Fabio. All right. Well, happy New Year, guys. Happy, happy New, New Year, Year to you as well. Thank you so much. You see how it works here, Steve? Oh, it's amazing. You see how this is just a it's love just, fest every isn't week, isn't it? Though on the Tampa Native Show. You know, we got another Abuelita request here. I hope it's not taken, but it's what lucky it? number eight. Eight. This is by it's available. Um, okay, good, good. That's for Robert Bu Bukema, Bukema, B E U K E M A. Okay. And uh, he just wanted to share a photo and uh, and your fans I took recently, but his photo here. I, Do we know Robert? Up. Do you know Robert? Robert? I don't know him, but the photo's not showing up I for some reason. I think it's pronounced Bukema. Bokema, okay, okay. Yes. but it's lucky number. Sorry if I uh, spelled your number eight. Robert Tampanator, did you go to school here in Tampa? Where'd you go to school? Did you know any of us here on the panel? Yeah, send us an email. Send us right. an email. Let us know Absolutely. where. Absolutely. Yep, and and Dory, hopefully she's getting um, emails tonight from our yeah. callers as they're calling in because we want to start compiling a we have a, an, an email roster, if you we will. Have a right? lot of so that when we have so far. events, when we have uh, special events. You know, we can blast that out there in an email blast, and everybody can get a chance to join and, us. And also number twelve from uh, Maria Riquelme. Oh, Dora, is that baby? That's, uh, no, uh, her other sister. Our other sister. <laughs> yeah. Maria? Our other sister. Hey, Maria. Hi, Maria. Thank Thanks for watching tonight. Man, we That's got awesome. this. <coughs> baby? <coughs> we don't have a cough button here. This is live TV. Don't you okay? pull out my earpiece. All right. Drink some water. And we've got another video you want to show? Well, How long are these videos? Because well, I think these videos get a little bit lengthy. Well, Super, super Test is the shortest one. All right, let's, let's do the do that Super one. Test really one, neat. and we'll save the other video for another show. This one is kind of fun, and we just wanted to show this one tonight because... Well, for those of us that have been here in Tampa for a good long while, and, and you know, all of us on the panel certainly have, and for our older mm -hmm. viewers that might be watching tonight, and remember the Super Test Amusement Park that was on the corner of Columbus Drive and Dale Mabry? Remember that park? It was the, I do. Yeah, it was the precursor to, I guess you could say, to Lowry Park. Like Lowry Park, maybe, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh -huh. to Bush Gardens, certainly. Yeah. It, was, it was the only thing we had going, man. It was humble it was, times. It was like the 50s. And, and we liked know. it that way. There was the one Ferris wheel and the rice, one roller coaster. Animal even had a bear. And Animals. we had a sad bear yep. in a cage. It was yep. really the animal cruelty people would have okay. been. Well, here we go. Let's, let's watch this. It's just about a minute and a half. Enjoy this. We want to remind you that the Super Test folks have something special for you in the way of entertainment, and that is the Super Test Amusement Park. Now, that is a nice place to take the entire family. It's a good, clean place. They have a carni carnival atmosphere with... Rides of all kinds that the adults will enjoy just as much as the children do. They have little concession stands with good eats and soft drinks, a small zoo for the delight of the kiddos. You can just take your family down, your um, Sunday school class, or just a group of neighborhood children, and they'll all have a good time. Now, when you buy your gas, oil, kerosene, or your diesel fuel, or whatever you're buying at Super Test, you ask them for your free tickets to the rides in the Super Test Park. There's no charge for getting into the park. There's no charge for parking your car. And by using Super Test products, there'll be no charge for riding on the rides. See? Ask for your free tickets. You'll have a good time. The park is located in Tampa on the corner of Columbus Drive and Dale Mabry. It opens every day at 4 o'clock and is open all evening. Now remember, the park is not open on Sundays. It is not open on Sundays. We hope that you will go down real soon. Take advantage of the Super Test Park. Have a good time. Hmm? Use Super Test today. It will brighten your way. And then you'll sing this song and be gay. Drive up your car. Park it and say, fill it with Super Test today. Allow me to say, Steve, I know you're going to make a comment now. Sure. Allow, me, allow me to say that Wow. Yeah. I know. That's all I can say. Wow. Isn't that something? Yeah. Okay. It takes you right back. I, I, and can I go just crawl back into that video <laughs> and just ride that little train? Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, it reminded me that, especially the end song there, reminded me of one of my favorite all-time ever movies, top three all-time ever movies. Oh, I know what you're With saying. George Clooney, yes. all-time ever movies. Yeah. Oh, brother, where are thou? Oh, that was great. Okay. And, and everything uh, was free. Did you hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, and, free, and, and free. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I digress. She, she repeated twice, and the park is not open on, on Sundays. Sunday. The park yeah. is not open <laughs> Nothing on was Sundays. open on Sunday. But. So you better be in church, and you, better be, <laughs> yeah. and you better be doing something with your family. What a great fit. That, that's, that was, that's a highlight. Three minutes yeah. for the show? And that was three minutes for the show? 
That's oh it. Oh my gosh, we got three wow. minutes for the show. Do you have something to well, say? Well, just going to say that was balls. that was the Daisy May radio show from WHBO Radio. Remember that WHBO? Wow, yeah, WHBO. Yeah, I remember 1964. That. All right, we've got three yeah. minutes to go, and right. as happens, where, where did it so, go? As happens so often here on the Tampa right. Native we Show, we ran out of time. The hour, <laughs> the sands in the hourglass are just flying, and <laughs> and we're about to be over in another wonderful episode of the Tampa Native Show. Now we're going to ask Marissa if she'll join us here at the table next to Steve, reach into the bag and draw out a number, and if she draws her own number, she can't win. <laughs> All right, Marissa, get in there. Pick a good one. Give it to Stevie and let him read it. There we go. That is 61. 61. Well, somebody, somebody had 60. 60. Somebody had, yeah. Close as that without going over. Florence. Yeah. All right. I remember that. Congratulations. Wonderful. You see, you come to the Tampa Native Show, you show up. And, and you're, you're a winner. winner. First time viewers, Congratulations, first time Florence. Congratulations. Oh, cool. To, to all of our winners, to all of our callers who yes. are all winners in our heart. Now, let me just say real quick, we want to tease next week's show. Guys, please don't let me go over. We want to be able to say goodnight in proper fashion to our fans. A couple of things real quick. Um, and, and guys, get your yes, cards ready, I'm too. Ready. We're going to go over that real, real, real fast. Better be next fast. week, Marilyn Messina will be joining us. Stevie, do we have that bottle close by? No, we do right here. Marilyn Messina will be joining us, third generation owner of Joe and Sons. Uh, olive oil, the olive oil business, the olive oil to the stars. Yeah, really? We love this. Fantastic. We love this stuff. She's yeah. going to be with us next week with her daughter, Andrea, to talk all about the four generations that have been doing business here in Tampa, Joe and Sons Olive Oil. Yeah. Stevie? Well, I just want to say, let, let's definitely go to the Tampa Native Show. Dot com and click on visit our sponsors because we have some new sponsors yes, this, we do. this uh, we do. season. So we're really excited about that. Yes. Also, big thanks to Mike Bluha for recreating the, the intro video and also yes. the Very closing nice. video. Thank you, Mike, Great for your job. time. Thank you, that. Michael, for that. Baby, do you have something to say? Yes, I would like to say I would encourage all of you to go to the Facebook pages of the 15 Minute Girl, the Tampa Natives Show page, the Tampa Natives page, Hello Dory page, and Little Peeps. And That's like right. all of us. Please like us and poke us if you feel we like, like you. it. Like us and poke us. We like all of that. <laughs> we do. Tampa Natives, Tampa Natives Show. And the Tampa Natives page is outpacing the Tampa Natives Show page right now. I we know. Almost 2,000 people now. Okay. Yeah. And Lil Peeps and, of course, Tampa Steve and Hello Dory yes. and the 15 Minute Girl all have pages. So please. Like us. Find us and like us. We'd like to thank our yes. studio audience, yes, Steve we Mackler right. and his lovely family for coming in tonight. Thank, thank you, guys. guys. for being thank here. You. Wonderful. As we are every, every week here on the Tampa Native Show, we're just so humbled and so happy to be bringing you this show we each are. and every week. So we on it. behalf of Hello Dory and Eric Cups, our technical director extraordinaire, the guy who sits next to me each and every week and lets me rag him unmercifully, but I love him <laughs> like a brother, Steve Canella. My wife, I love her too. The 15-Minute Girl. I'm Mario Nunez. Salute and happy, happy days. days. We love you, Tampa. Yes, we do. Next week. We want to remind you that the Super Test folks have... Back when we were younger And everything seemed new We used to have a lot of fun Yes we did No matter what we do Sleepy days, long summer nights Going anywhere we please With love that I could call my own Love that I've always known The city that I call my home A home from which I never roamed this love affair was meant to be I love her and she loves me I remember Tampa Oh, she remembers me She remembers me Tampa Native Show.